Hello, uh, my name is Hayden Ron, and this is first grade lesson 22, math. Let's just get straight into it. First, we're going to do using a table. So use the table to answer the questions below. Let's get straight into number one. How many children in room two walk to school? So first we look right here, we find room two. And then we would look for the kids who walk to school. So that is... I'll highlight it. This one right here. So if we look, room two would be 12. So the object number one is 12. Let's also do room. Let's also do. <clears throat> Number four. Oops. Which room has the fewest children who ride to school? So, first we'll go to the number of children who ride to school. Number of children who ride to school, just like that. And then we look for the smallest number out of these four, and that is obviously seven. So, if we look, that is room three. So, the answer to Number four is room three. So, let's just also do number seven while we're at it. How many children in rooms three and two and three ride to school? So, room two, we can look at the children who ride, and that is 12. So, put 12 here. And because we're looking for the total, it will be adding the operation. And then go up to room three. We establish that there are seven kids who ride to school there, so we would do twelve plus seven. Use the number line method if you can't if you can't do it in your head, but I'm gonna do it in my head, and the answer would be nineteen. <coughs> yeah, that's how you use a table. All right, let's move on to the next section using a tally table. So this is specifically a tally. So use a tally table to answer the question. You guys shouldn't know what a tally is, but you should know that this is one, just a line down, one. And if you make two, three, four, and cross it, this is the fifth one. So, like it says in this key right here. Oops. One line down is one vote. Four lines down and one line diagonally is five votes. So, let's just go straight into number one. How many votes did horses get? So we find horses right here. And we just count the tallies. There are one, two, three. So the answer would be three. Uh, let's do num number three. How many votes did fish get? <clears throat> so first we find fish right here. And then we count. We know that but... We know that, according to this key, this is 5. So this is 5, and this is plus 1, which is 6. So the answer to number 3 would be... Oops, sorry about that. So number 3 would be 6. Um, let's move on, actually, because there aren't that many questions. Adding more 10s and 1s. So you just have to solve the riddle. The riddle is which animal can fit an elephant on its tongue. So in order to solve this, you guys would have to basically solve all these problems out. And then whatever the answer is, would go and fill in this blank. So let's just pick a random one. Let's do number five. 81 plus 14, so we learned that vertical addition means you just do the ones place and then the tens place. So first, let's do the ones place. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we would do the tens place like so. Oops. And 8 plus 1 is 9. So the answer to A is 95. Now you can come down here and check. Is there a 95? Yes, there is right here. So that means that this letter 
corresponds with 95. So at 95, you could put A. Uh, let's do one more. <coughs> let's do number 10. So again, let's do the ones place first. 7 plus 2. If you guys can't do this math in the head like I've been doing, then you guys can always do the number line method. 7, move 2 forward, and count. So in the singles place, there's a 9. And then we would go to the tens place. 1 plus 4, which is 5. And now we will check down here again if there is a 59, which there is right here. So that means 59 is E. And you would just continue doing this until you get whatever the answer here is. Let's do one more. Let's do number 16. 26 plus 23. So let's just get straight into it again. We would start with the ones place. 6 plus 3. Uh, we can do this the mental math style. Or... The number line style is so six. One, two, three. Um, so in the ones place there would be a nine. And then we would do the tens place, two plus two, which you guys can count or just do it in your head, is four. Now we look down here at the answer. And there's a forty nine right here, so B. And you guys will have to keep in mind that there are more problems than answers which means you may not get one let's do one more just because i'm feeling generous number three uh 43 plus 35 so again focus on the ones place three plus five is eight and then we would focus on the tens place four plus three which is seven so now we come down here Oh, there is no 78, which means we do not use this letter. So, we just cross it out or just leave it however you want. I'll just leave it pink. But, let's move on to our, oops, our last page. Subtracting 10s and 1s. So, this is the opposite of adding, where we subtract. Again, it's all explanatory. You, just the same thing as when you add, you just do the 1s place first and then the 10s place first. So, let's just get straight into it let's do number one 57 minus two again start off with the ones place seven minus two pretty sure you guys can all do this if you can't you can use the number line method and go backwards one two and count backwards six five and bam that's your ones place answer and then you would do the tens place obviously there's only one number here, which is 5, so it would just be brought straight down. The answer would be 55. Let's do one with a bigger number. Let's do number 8, 66 minus 43. So first, we would focus on the 1's place. 6 minus 3 is 3. And then we would focus on the 10's place, which 6 minus 4 is 2. That would be the answer. And yeah, that will be the end of this lesson. Thank you so much.